okay, well, you know what? I really find this article very interesting. And the timing of this article could not have been more significant for me. And so I have to thank Lumen for actually giving me the link to this article. And, you know, basically this is confirming the introduction that I read to book three of the 10 books of architecture by Vitruvius, where Vitruvius states that sometimes information and knowledge isn't relayed by people that the collective considers to be messengers. Because due to the collective working in the way they do and acknowledging people as being of stature and of importance due to their standing in society or their financial um, status as well, they may not have their information actually acknowledged because of these factors. This is just the way it really is. I mean, and it's nothing that, you know, nothing is ever wrong. And that's why I want people to understand that we weren't made perfect and we weren't made imperfect because see we are perfect through our flaws that's how I see us okay this makes us who we are and so these paradoxes just are part of the existence the causal existence that we exist in and so we should observe them as such but it doesn't mean that once we see this information and have access to this perspective now that we shouldn't also include this in understanding that when we have to relay this knowledge we may have to really try a lot harder to break through the walls that want to ignore this information about the divinity within mankind because this is really significant information. Decoding Vitruvian man into four races is really significant information. However, according to the public, I'm not someone that's really significant. So this information goes unnoticed. But it doesn't have to because those of us who see the information for what it is can then do their own part for the collective by relaying this information and keeping this information in the collective. You see, I have about 20 people, I think I could count them on two hands, that I know, that I interact with, through my groups that study this information, that have this information, that have downloaded it, that have re-uploaded it. But I know that the flame of knowledge now burns within these people, regardless of whether we lose connection to the internet and lose the information, they have this within them. And that's all I need to know. I can go to my grave happy now, just knowing that. Because that means that the information, the truth, will remain within those people. And so this is the flame that I'm talking about that we need to ignite in others. And it comes through a correct understanding of ourselves. And we have to start understanding that we are divine and we are part of the creator. And the creator fragmented into... Four races of 96 divine beings that all else manifests from, emanates from. And so this is important knowledge that must be shared with the collective by those who understand how profound it is. I find it interesting that sometimes people comment with certain things when I post a video on my Facebook page. And they will 
you know, say, oh, I love your passion and, oh, maybe people could, uh, you know, maybe you could do this a bit better and it'll help a bit more to get your information out like you want to get your information out. You know, people really don't understand that I am not here to make this information better for people so they can understand it better and I can help them wake up a little bit easier. So I should do the video in a bit different way for them. No. I'll just keep relaying information and when people want to find it, they can. Completely up to them. I make absolutely no money. I have no agenda other than just to want the collective to wake up so that I have a better existence like all of us, that we deserve. Because I want people that know how great they are and really honour how great we are as a race. I want to be part of that collective with them. I want people like that with me. I want brothers and sisters like that with me, that think that way about us, that don't want to just manipulate and try and get success and get to the top by playing to the rules of the illusion. No, no, I don't want those types of people in my collective. You know, I want people that understand themselves because it's through understanding ourselves that we understand each other and we understand the greatness within each other and we respect that because we respect creation, all of creation. So you cannot look at someone from a different culture and race with an understanding of the information I'm relaying and actually look at them as someone that is less than. You just cannot do that if you understand the truth of who you are and who they are. And this is why I say it's important to get it out to certain cultures because I see a lot of brokenness in some cultures. And it's sad, you know, it really is. And I know that it wouldn't take much to really get these cultures to have an understanding of this information because as I say, these cultures were the ones that stayed true to the original teachings the longest and this is the reason that they were able to succumb to the mental overpowerment of the white tribe. But because they have such a connection to truth, it shouldn't take much to understand themselves again, but they really have been programmed like everybody else and there's just so much programming out there. It's everywhere. It's like you're an alien, everyone's an alien, Jesus was an alien. I mean, I keep saying that. That's just psyop. Truth shows you. You don't need to wonder because someone wrote a blog or someone told you or someone found artefacts or someone's seen it, you know, or someone's lives at a ranch that sees lights and says they're rockets and spaceships and so that's truth now, you know, and your truth. You know, this is not where you build towers because this is just someone else's truth that you thought sounded interesting and it never really sat with you profoundly. And so when it counts, when you have to think, who am I? When it counts, you're not going to know. You're not going to know because all of those little illusions that you created of maybes are just going to dissolve because they're not true. It's not aliens. There's no aliens. There's a whole alien agenda. I'm not saying there aren't other beings, but they're not Hollywood in a freaking um, flying saucer coming to visit, landing on the planet, um, and they're tall and they're all in these different, you know. I mean, I'm not saying situations don't unfold that way, perhaps because psychologically that's how we play them out and that's how we interact with the ethereal. But that's what the information shows, that we're dealing with the ethereal, we're dealing with another plane, another ethereal plane. We're not dealing with beings that come and visit us from another planet in the way that Hollywood are relaying it. And these beings have weapons that are going to be able to destroy us and enslave us. It just, it doesn't play out that way in the knowledge and the information. It doesn't play into the alien card at all, which is then why you start wondering why they put the alien card out there and look who does, the History Channel. Well, go and have a look who owns the History Channel. Go and have a look 
who you're taking your information from, everyone that follows, um, you know, all of this ancient aliens and the History Channel. Go and have a look who is programming you with this information. And it all goes back to Disney. Because Disney is one of the main programmers of the collective and they start very young. And you have a look at some of the older Disney cartoons that they don't play anymore and some of them that have been banned and they were all about a lot of propaganda okay from the war they were there to ensure that the collective was being programmed in the way that they should have been thinking and so you know but gradually they just changed the storyline to suit the element of consciousness at the time because we're slowly expanding as the ethers returning we're slowly expanding as consciousness is expanding. And so they had to change the storyline and hide this a little bit better for parents. But it's still all a load of programming, guys. And if you actually look at all of the uh, Disney princesses and the Disney um, cartoons, it's all based on ancient mythology that they've copyrighted and branded and manipulated. If you have a look at Brothers Grimm, this is where the stories they sourced were basically from. And Brothers Grimm just basically saw that there was a need to have these stories relay because no one was actually doing it. And they actually changed them a bit, but that was because the original fairy tales were very, very gruesome. Because life is gruesome, nature is gruesome. And this wasn't hidden from children like now they hide everything you can't speak of anything in front of a child yet you know these same people will put them in front of a you know saturday morning video music video show it's just insane what's going on at the moment but anyway just know that, yeah, they're just being programmed from uh, a very early age and they have done this for a long time and it all started in World War II, as I've been saying. And it continues. And so information like mine, the only way it's going to get out, guys, to help other people and not to help me, and this is, you know, what I was saying about these comments, that I just think, you know, this isn't for me. You know, yes, it's nice to be recognised. I'm not going to lie and say, oh, no, my hard work. You know, it's not nice to have someone, uh, you know, of um, a bit of high credibility recognise my work. But it's more that I want the information to get out so the other lights start igniting within more people so the collective can be helped. So we can start shifting things, guys, because it's dependent upon us to shift things through cause and effect and so this is why I'm just gonna keep doing videos and just as the world goes more insane I'm just gonna keep bringing videos and uh, I'm gonna keep just speaking truth and you know if people can't understand the level of information that I'm relaying now and in the way that I relay it I just can't really stop and begin, you know, relaying it into a way that allows people to just continue ignoring truth for what it is. So I'm going to just, you know, as I said, continue just every day um, posting um, the Vitruvian diagram and just keep posting it everywhere until people start understanding what the information means and understand that it's not me trying to do it to get any accolades or no one's helping me by posting it. You're helping you. This is what you've got to understand. This is what everyone has to understand. You're not helping me. You're helping you. You're helping your race, you're helping your tribe, you're helping your clan, whatever it is that you want to believe uh, the label is, it's all the same. It all goes back to the, you know, to the roots and you've got them and you're probably close to them if you're looking at this information. Part of you is bringing your 
path your destiny is bringing you to this information to find this knowledge it's up to you whether you want to dismiss it because of the messenger or whether you want to look at the message and gain an understanding of the truth so that once you understand the truth you illuminate the flame within and then you can help other people have an understanding for who they are because that's truth that's all I'm doing I'm not trying to say I'm right and everyone's wrong I'm just trying to say I want you to know who you are so that we can start changing shit on this planet because I'm fucking over existing in this way I don't think I can continue actually it's just completely I, I'm a hermit completely because I cannot socially interact with almost all people other than a select few that just happen to have an open mind and understanding and so I can understand that there's others out there like me don't get me wrong and I know that's why I continue to bring information in this avenue so that I do reach you and you reach me and don't worry I'm not going to stop because more of us are finding each other and this is why you know someone said to me that it's in our blood it's in us this call to each other and this call to who we are and this call to this information we are being pulled to this knowledge left to us by divine intelligence and so this is basically why I say that it's up to us guys to get this information out there because the Matthew effect has the odds of this information being widely distributed as probably not a big chance so anyway I will leave it here and I will post this article underneath thank you again to Lumen for posting it and thank you for posting all the links that you do and you've been following my research for quite a while now too so um, this is definitely confirming what Vitruvius knew and relayed to us in the first chapter of book three well as always guys peace out